Hello, hello, hello. Good afternoon. This is Cheryl Wentz, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator, talking to you on Tuesday at 2. I have a whole bunch of things to share with you today. So I've been having fun. Um, on Friday, I asked everyone if there was anything that they wanted to see in particular. And I had somebody request um, some cards with the Peaceful Moments um, bundle with the, the stamp set and the dies. So I made a number of different cards that I want to show um, using that. Um, I also promised that I would use, last week we used the blender pen and this week I wanted to use my favorite tool which is the aqua painter and some watercolor paper. So I combined all of that with some paper piecing and some little tips and tricks and so I'm hoping I have some people on. If you're on you can please let me know you're here holler at me, give me a little wave, talk to me, um, and then we can get started. And I'll show you, oh, we're also gonna undo, um, unveil this month's paper pumpkin, which I haven't even seen. So um, the box came yes, yesterday, no, today, this morning, Peter brought it in. Um, and so I'm gonna um, open that up, and that's probably what I will then play with and show you on Friday. So. If you're watching, let me know. Um, I will get started. I'm gonna turn the camera around. Once the camera goes around, you won't be able to, I won't be able to see your comments. So, um, so you have to write to me. You have to write something so I know you're here. So that will be a, a good way to uh, give you some feedback. Give me some feedback. Tell me how I'm doing. Um, you know, I'm pretty new to all of this. Hi, Chris. Is Cindy on too? Hi, Cindy. Yay. I'm really not, I really am quite new to all of this and I'm not good with technology at all. So I'm just sort of winging um, all of this and trying to um, play in my corner and share when I can't have people at the tables behind me. So um, hoping that y'all are enjoying it. If there is something you wanna see, please let me know because uh, otherwise I won't know. Yippee, it's Tuesday. Yeah, and the girls are together. They're, uh, they would be here on Monday nights and they would always come to techniques class together. So I'm so missing seeing all those smiling faces. I just, uh, it's, um, I'm teary today. I don't know why, so silly. So anyhow, I'm gonna turn the camera around and let's get started because I have a lot to show you. So I'm excited about it. Here we go. Camera goes around. Here we go. I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger. So we're gonna talk about some different things. This was, so this is the stamp set, right? This Peaceful Moments bundle. And for a while you couldn't order it, it was on back order. So I'm happy to say I checked it before I came on and you, it is still available, it is available now. So the stamp set, that's, so it's in your mini catalog on page 27. And then here are the dies, which some of them are missing because we're gonna use them today. So here's the two things. I'm gonna just see, make sure I'm right in the center. Ooh, okay. So, um, one of the cards, the first card I was gonna show you is the card everybody has seen. Um, everybody relates to this, um, this particular set of dies because it makes these beautiful poppies. So we made this in class. Um, this die here comes from the coordinating set of dies, um, not this particular Poppy Moments dies, but just a little accent. And then, ta-da, the flower inside. So everybody, I mean, when you look at this, and then unfortunately, or fortunately, whatever, I'm gonna use a, this, this is, I've seen lots of people making cards with this die, because look, it looks like the coronavirus. <laughs> So, hi Mary Catherine, hi Leanne. Oh my goodness. Oh, thank you guys so much for tuning in. So, there's a little, you know, there's always another use for everything that we see, right? So, that's the original one and, and the one that everybody thinks of because on the front of our catalog, that's what you see. Our, these are the flowers that I had on that card. So, very popular, but it is back in stock. So, if y'all need it, you can get it. So this is one of the cards I made today. And this one is using paper piecing. 
So I just wanted to show some paper piecing with you and show you, give you some tips on that. So here's my card, thinking of you with all my heart. I used the um, tro to Tropical Oasis um, basket weave um, background. Can you see that? Hi, Linda. Oh my goodness sakes, howdy, howdy. It's so exciting when I, when I stand up. And Peggy, it's so exciting when I stand up and I see people. Ooh. <laughs> Thank you all, you're making my day. So I wanted to show you how I'm doing this paper piecing. We've done this in the past, but it's kind of a nice thing to just um, go over again and kind of, um, I was gonna show you all these fun things, just to go over it again and talk about how how we do it. And I make, made it a little bit easier. Let me get my, some tools out of here because I can't pick up my stuff. I have some things already cut out, of course, um, that I was going to show you here. So here's my leaves. I was going to show you how to put those together. Here's the piece that creates all the little pieces that would look like this. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So let me go ahead and pull my big shot over here. Um, let's see here. I had to get everything out of the way. I have so much stuff to show you at my desk. Everything is just surrounding me. So um, I'm going to go ahead and cut this out. So this is one of the dies. This creates this piece here, which is the outline for my flowers. And then this die here creates the background piece. So they match up. So then you can glue these two together, just like that. And then you can fill these in with pieces. And I'm gonna show you an easy way to do that. So I'm just taking a piece of cardstock, taking my little die here. I'm gonna run it through real quick here for you. Off, off camera, there we go. And so here is my, here is my die, okay? So what I did is I take press and seal and I turn this upside down so the die is on the bottom and I have the sticky side down towards my cardstock and you just rub it. So you're pushing that down. What I'm going to be doing is sort of creating a little palette like this with all the little pieces. So I just wanted to show you how I did that. So then I turn it around. I use my pickup tool here to push this out and I'm just pushing all these little pieces down because they're going to stay on that press and seal. The only thing that I will have on my on here is the outline. So I'm just pushing that down and I have one more piece here. Let me push this out here. It's over here. There, and I can just set that off to the side. So that's how you create your little palette of all the colors. So now I can pick those up and put them into my, uh, do a little paper piecing. So I have a lot of these frames. That's what I have here because I was playing with them so much. So I guess on Friday I'll have to do something with all these frames. But that's how I had a lot of frames that I was going to use from all these flowers because I had to cut it out in the um, flirty flamingo and the gorgeous grape. So just like that. Okay. Now, to um, I'm going to take a piece of scrap, a post-it note here, because I'm going to glue this on here, and I don't want my grid paper to get all full of glue, and then I have to be sticky all day. So. I find if you have a little piece of scrap paper or a little post-it note to sit here, it works as a good background to go ahead. And I'm just barely, come on now, you got to come out. Whoa, that's too much. Let me take that away. I'm just barely um, touching down here and there with the glue. Tap, tap, tap. Come on. There we go. There we go. I'm just going to kind of put it here and there. I'm just spot checking it here whoops oh lordy lordy come on best laid plans right here let's do this there okay so 
Now I'm going to pick up my piece and I found it easy to match this up if I start at the bottom here at the bottom of the flower and I just kind of put that on and I have green glue so it's nice to be slipping and sliding. I can move it over if I need to. Ta-da! There we go. So I have it all glued on. I, I am a little sticky here. There we go. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is decide which pieces I want to fill in because I didn't fill in all of them. You can see on this one. I just filled in some of them. So what I did is I just took my green glue and put a little bit of green glue in here where I want to put the pieces. And then I just pick them up here. When they're really little, you can use your pickup tool and you just fit it right in there. Now you could fill this in. I have a solid background. If I had a white background, you know, you could fill it in with the different colors, but I found it easier I'm only going to fill in part of it because that's all I that's all I need to do, right? It goes a lot faster if you're only filling in a portion versus the whole thing. So if you're working with this and it's moving along with you, bend it down and put a sticky side down. That'll hold it in place for you with the press and seal so you're not fighting that. There. And then I'm going to put one more piece here. This one on the edge. There we go. Just fit it right in there. See even those little tiny pieces? So it just fits right in. Ta-da! Now on this one I put I put it on here up here too so I can just put a little bit of glue on there. Pick this piece up. Oh, there we go. Pick up tool. Come, come to my rescue. I have to make sure that I get it the right side here it down there we go okay I think it goes this way and then just put that right in place ta-da and that's how I created all these flowers here so you can see I did them all different kind of sort of like a jigsaw puzzle did it all a little bit different so that's the flowers I'm gonna move this off to the side for later and then I want to show you how I put the leaves together. So they have this two-toned leaf. Um, on your dies, you have all these little holes. And that's what you're going to poke in here. And that will get your cardstock out of your die. So you just kind of poke along and then pull it gently like that and I get to this side here I just keep I'm just gonna keep poking poking through here there we go popped right out so here's one leaf which you could use plain just like that or you could use this one plain too because uh, I mean you have two different options of leaves but I was just gonna show you how to the easy way to put them together okay because there's they're made to kind of shade and go together and I thought well with the paper piecing it sort of goes right along with that that idea so I'm just pushing these out come on baby this one I keep missing that one okay all righty there okay ta-da so you could use this alone um, but it's made to go on top of this one and again, I would use my scrap paper over to the side so I don't get glue all over the place. And I'm just going to put a little bit of green glue on my... I love the green glue because I can wiggle it around. I'm putting it on here, just kind of spot checking here and there. It doesn't have to be everywhere. And then what I found was the easiest to match these up was to start at the bottom and match up the points along the edges. So I started at the bottom, and then I just matched up the points here, and I just kept going all the way around. There. Ta-da. Simple Simon. Just so you know how that's supposed to fit together, and then you have some shading for your flowers, so for your leaf and the flowers. So that's the paper piecing. We're going to put that away. 
that was this one. Okay, so now this is the first card I met, I made, and this is the one I was actually most excited about. Come back here. I gotta take that off because it's sticky. Okay, is this one right here? So, kind of dramatic, right, with the black um, background and then the lighter colors. So behind this piece is a piece of watercolor paper, which we we sell. We have this watercolor paper here. Um, I think you get uh, 10 sheets, 10 sheets for $9, something like that. Um, it's 100% cotton, it's thicker. And you're, um, I use the watercolor pencils. I'm gonna bring it up closer because I wanna tell you a couple things. Hi, hello Jean. I am so glad you're watching. So what I have here is I cut out the black, right, with the dye, which is this dye here right here, okay. Just set it on there and cut it out on my Big Shot. That left the holes in here for the background and the background is watercolor paper. Now, I took watercolor pencils and colored it in. You can see, I don't know if you can see that, this one is a little bit brighter down here with the lighter colors and this one's a little bit muddier and I'll tell you why I did that. So here's, and there's the inside, voila pretty fun with the watercolor pencils. Okay, so um, I'm going to show you one more, and that's the one I'm going to make. So this one, so this is my card number three, right? Yep, card number three. Using the dyes, um, aqua, the watercolor paper, aqua painter. So here's the one that we're going to make today. And I used that same thing except I, I didn't do it twice. So I wanted to make a card that was in blues, a little bit different colors, right? This is that fun um, paper. I have to, let me tell you here. So it doesn't go with the peaceful poppies. It's Sia Silhouette designer paper, but I wanted to use some different colors other than the purple here on my with my watercolor paper. So I'm gonna show you how I did that. I have everything cut and ready. Well, the other thing I was gonna show you here on this card, I, I, have a, I have a list of things, but I, I keep jumping around, squirrel, you know, um, is if you're do, using our punches, both of these, I use two different punches, play with your punches for layering. Because there's, on this, um, on this birthday card, I'm going to show you a different way to layer this punch. And on this one, I use two different punches. So um, play with your punches. So I used the Timeless Label Punch. That's this the white piece. And then I used, for the background, I used the Everyday Label Punch. So just kind of, you know, punch it out and play with it. That makes a nice layering. And I, it pops it up versus just having this white or sponging it or something else. I already spent enough time by just paper piecing. So I thought it was a, a fun idea to play with your punches. Layer them up and see what kind of, um, what how it looks, because you can get a completely different look, and I thought it was kind of neat, because it went pretty much all the way around. Okay, so we're gonna do this card here. I have all my little pieces cut out over here. I'm gonna put my ribbon over here. And what I'm gonna show you is how to do this, how I did this piece here, with coloring, with the watercolor paper, and here's my piece of watercolor paper. It's thick cotton paper. And I'm gonna take my white piece, like this piece here, I'm just gonna cut this out. So when I cut it out, I just wanted to make sure that I was far enough away from the edges so that gluing it on my base and gluing, I have this glued behind it, the watercolor paper, that I just had enough room on there. So. I cut it out like this. I'm just gonna do that quick here on the side, off to the side, off to the races. And then, there we go, there we go, okay. So, once I got this like this, and it just sort of falls out, well then you have all these little pieces, right? I took my Stampin' Pierce mat, this mat right here, and I took the little add-on that you can do for your um, pickup tool, and I just run over it, and it 
takes out all those little extra pieces. You can go both ways. And I'm just brushing it. The mat gives it a little bit of a cushion so that it pushes it all out. So look at how easy that is. Simple Simon. Now you have all these little pieces to vacuum up. There. But the mat is quite useful for that reason. Okay, so I took my um, watercolor paper and I'm going to set it here where it's going to glue on to my card front, okay? I'm just leaving a little bit of a uh, side barrier here. There we go. And then I took a pencil because I wanted to know where to color in. I have light and dark. So on this one, I have dark in the center of the flower and light around the edges. So what I did was I just drew with my pencil. So here's the center of this flower, right? So I just, I'm putting really soft marks partway around that. This one too. So here's the center of my flower. I'm marking on my watercolor paper, not on the card front. I can erase what I, if I get something on there. And I'm just marking where I want to make it dark. There we go. So it looks like nothing. It looks, yeah, looks like a mess. And this is even going to look worse because, so here I took, um, the watercolor assort assortment number two, and I have my Knight of Navy, and where I want it dark, I'm just scribbling. This is scribble time. So I'm just going to scribble on my paper, just like that. And it's just going to look like a bunch of blobs. <laughs> looks like nothing, but it looks really cool when it's behind your paper. There we go. So that's all I'm putting a bunch of color on there. And now I'm going to take, uh, this one is the balmy blue from that watercolor assortment. And I'm just gonna color around this. This is like, oh, uh, I think this would be a stress relief thing. <laughs> you know, if you're having a tough day, just scribble, scribble. Or you can just like all different colors, whatever you wanna do. It's a stress relieving card. Here we go like that. So it looks like nothing. And I don't want to muddy up the two colors too much. So I'm going to take my aqua painter and my I have my a piece of um, paper towel here. And I'm going to start in the middle. And you can it makes it like liquid. Look at it's kind of cool. Just adding a little bit of water to this. And I'm going to go with my dark first and just kind of liquefy that and then I'm going to squeeze this out onto my paper so that I'm and then I'm going to go with the lighter color and what I did was I kind of went all around like this and then afterwards I I kind of after I have it all the way around I'm just going to brush it into the center um, so that the colors blend so you don't have just like the circles right but first I just, I like, <laughs> look at how it looks. It's kind of fun. So then I just sort of brushed it in a little bit and softened up the edges like that. There we go. There we go. Okay. It looks just like a blob. Okay. Now I have to put this by my little heater. I have a heater right down by my desk. I'm going to put the cover on this. There we go. I love the aqua painters. And then I'm going to cook this because I'm impatient. So I'm going to put that up by the heater for just a minute. There we go. And then, yeah, so I used, I love this punch, which is the tailored tag punch. I've seen a lot of different cards with that tailored tag punch. I punched it out twice, once in white after the, um, when I had the happy birthday on there. And then I punched it out again. I'm going to show you how to do that. And then cut it in half and layered it. Okay, this looks like it's dry enough. I'm going to go like this. There we go. If I keep this heater on, I'll be cooking over here. So I'm going to turn that off. This is going to go like this. It looks weird, right? So now I'm going to take my glue. And I'm just going to put a little bit of adhesive here and there around this because this is going to go on there. So I'm going in the solid pieces and 
Just kind of spot checking my glue again. Here and there, all over the town. There we go. There, okay. And then I'm gonna lay this right over the top of it. Because I know when I put it down, this is how I had it, so that I had a little bit of a border around there. So I'm gonna give it a press. Now we're gonna turn it around. Ta-da! Isn't that cool? So, so you can see where I have it a little bit darker around the edges, and you get just sort of a nice, you get a little bit of glue on, you can use your glue eraser and just go ahead and erase that off. There we go. There, I did too much because that yeah, bubbled it up here. Okay, so now I'm going to take my beautiful piece of designer paper. I love this stuff. So the dark, the backside is just blue, but I liked, I thought it sort of mimics all the same movement and the shape and the, the white outlining of it all. So here are a little glue here. I'm going to put this on here. There. Ta-da, ta-da. I still have glue right there. I just want to push that off here. There we go. Okay. And now I'm going to go ahead and put it on my Knight of Navy background. So put some glue on here. I'm going to put a little extra on here. There. Line this up on three sides. There we go. Just like that. Okay. And then I needed a breaker in between here. So I decided this ribbon, white ribbon with the silver trim, would look beautiful here. So we're just going to knot a little, I'm not going to make a bow, I'm just knotting it. Just a little knot. There we go, around here, holding that down. I'm watching this so that stays flat, is always my goal. Not that it works every time, but that's my goal each time. Okay, there we go. Straighten this out on my, so if you wanna straighten it and move it, remember just bend your cardstock, and then you can move your ribbon around. Take my big clippers here Clip off my little extras. There. There we go. Okay. So for the words, happy birthday. That's from that same stamp set. I'm using Knight of Navy ink. And here is my happy birthday. I like to always stamp it before I punch it because then I know I can get it straight, right? You can stamp it on here, and if you don't stamp it straight, then you're in trouble. But if you go ahead and do that afterwards, you punch it after you stamp it, you can line it up yourself here. So that's what I'm going to do. Look at my happy birthday. Loop, punch that out. Okay, now to line it, because just putting it on here like this, uh, not good. It needs to be popped up and accentuated a little bit more. So I'm going to take another one. I'm going to punch it out. I am going to take, let's get rid of that. I'm going to take my little scissors here, and I'm going to cut this right up the center. Just like that. Okay. Now, my glue trick. A little bit of glue just on the one edge at a time. I know the top or the bottom, the two edges, but top and bottom. And then I'm going to hold this in place and I'm going to slide this on to where I want, how thick I want it to look. And that looks good there. Okay. Now I'm going to do the other side. There we go. And again, I'm just going to hold the tip of it here and slide it into place how I want it here so that I have matching layering. There we go. Ta-da. Now, 
I'm putting it on this white cardstock, and I didn't like that I have this white. You could cut it again and layer it from that from the sides like that. But what I decided to do was take a piece of scrap um, cardstock. That's I think this is a half inch, yeah, half inch by three, and I'm going to use this punch again. And I'm going to put it from the top down. And I'm just going to put it in just a tiny little bit until I see the edges of that. And I'm looking, kind of trying to center it, right? So I see the edges of the cardstock. Ta-da. And you get a nice little whale tail. Okay, nice and shallow. So I know a lot of people don't like to cut it. Like usually I'll cut it up the center and then go point to point. But there you go. So that piece is going to go over the top and match up perfectly here. I'm gonna put a little glue on this piece. There we go. And line that up. Put my little tag on here. And it just kind of sets it off, finishes it off a little bit nicer, I think. Stands out a bit more. Green glue lets me wiggle it around a little bit. Make sure I have it even. So there you go. Does that look like a cool tag? A little extra. Just a little extra work. But it's worth it. Okay. Let's put some dimensionals on here. Because, of course, we have to have something popped up. And this is the highlight of our card. Happy birthday. Throw these away. There we go. And I, I, I'm sorry, I keep moving that around for you guys. And then just kind of pop it wherever you want it to go. I'm going to put it right there. There. Ta-da, ta-da. Okay. And I put it on a balmy blue background. Because I thought that pulls out the balmy blue and the lighter color. I thought that was a nice combination. So a little bit of glue right down the ribbon and then I'll center the three sides and bring it down see simple simple looks more complicated than it is I think it's that's really fun now you could add I didn't add any rhinestones or any glimmer you certainly could do that I didn't at this point there we go so there's the front of the card all done now we're going to do the inside, and I just stamped it. I left it simple, so I just stamped it with the verse inside. I'm going to get my Knight of Navy out here again. Here's my verse. It says, wishing you every happiness this special day brings. I think this, even though it's got a ribbon on it, it's got a little sparkle, this could be a guy card. Even though it's flowers, it's sort of, it, it looks sort of tropical. So the poppies, everything was red and poppy colored and, you know, the, but I thought if you made it blue, it looks sort of like a Hawaiian shirt is what I was thinking. And you could certainly give this to a guy card. It's blue. It's kind of wavy. The, this um, DSP reminds me of waves. Maybe I'm thinking of, you know, vacation. Maui, something. There we go. Line this up. And there we go. There. I'm going to put that inside. See how you couldn't, you have to line this stuff up. You, I mean, you have to layer this stuff up. You couldn't do this without layering. I have a little glue sticking out because that's kind of thick on that side where I have that um, watercolor paper. So I have to give it a little extra push there. You just have to layer. It just looks so much uh, better and finished off to give it that little extra bit okay so pretty there we go done done so ta-da so you certainly could add um, some rhinestones here and there um, if you wanted to but I just left it plain it has a little glitz with the um, ribbon that has some silver on it so that's that that's my, that's all my, that's my tricks for my paper, the poppies here. 
So, um, here's the next thing on the agenda. Yay! This is what came in today. My paper pumpkin. And so they come all enclosed now. So, I'm just going to tear this open. Oh boy. So I haven't seen it. I haven't seen anything in, um, you know, anybody showing anything on it yet. So it's all kind of, this is brand new. Brand new for me, if you haven't received yours yet. So this is the monthly kit that you can get. You never know what you're going to get, but I can guarantee you it's going to be cute. And even the box is cute. So here we go. Let's open it up. Ooh, look at there. Pretty ribbon. Stamp set. You get you get whatever you're going to need to make the cards inside. So you have a stamping spot, pair of pizzazz. Oh, it's trees. You have a little tree. Oh, uh, let's see here. Just add in color. Find out April 24th. Don't miss this in color colorful kit. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, let's open this up. Oh, so cute. Let me get this out of the way. Look at there, my wonderful family. Oh, boy. Oh, look at that. Let's open this. Let's cut this baby open. See what all the pieces are. I guess on Friday I'm going to be showing you this. I'll show you the cards the way they want it, and I'll show you some alternates because I've had a lot of fun doing that, um, pulling up some alternate ways to use it all. So let's get this piece of cardboard out of my way. They even send, here's, look at this, see glue dots. Here's all the cutouts, dimensionals, pearls, very pretty. Oh, envelopes that are lovely here. Four, so there's four with the light green. One, two, three, four. So you're going to be making eight cards with the darker greens. Uh, my favorite shaded spruce. Oh, and the words. Oh, my goodness. It says, life's greatest blessings begin and end with family. You guys, I need my stamping family here. It is in families that we learn to love, teach what is most important, and grow together in love and laughter. Grateful for you. Happy to be yours. Mm. All right, that's a tearjerker. Thank you, Stampin' Up. On a weekday, look what they do to me. Oh, my goodness sakes. So here are the cards. Okay. That goes with that one. Oh boy, and look at all the little cutouts. Little butterflies and little birds. Here's the other, oh, here's, these are the tags. So they're all, you just punch them out. You punch them out and stamp them. And here's the second set of cards. Oh, so lovely. Look, so this is gonna go like this. Oh, so cute. Here's some more punch outs, and these are leaves, sort of similar to the leaves we just punched. Some more tags, and voila, trees. Very cool. So, and here, let me, let me put this on a solid background so you can see what the stamp set looks like here. Here's the stamp set. Well, I can't really read it, but there you go, really cool. It's pretty exciting. So I will play with this and come back on Friday and we'll make the cards like they show here, but then I will also do some alternate cards, which they all they give you alternate cards in the inside too, uh, on the back side here. So here's, here's some alternate um, things. So every, um, every one, they give you directions and in the inside how it is designed to be used and then on the back side what your kit includes the cards that you're going to be making extra um, samples and then 
you can count on people like me, your Stampin' Up! demonstrator, to come up with some other ideas. I think that this, this ribbon might be a sneak peek. I don't know, that's really pretty. All right, I'm gonna turn the camera around. I've chatted at you guys enough, poor things. I'm sorry, I was chatty and kinda, kind of weird today. There we go. <laughs> oh, Barb. Hi. I'm happy to see you, Leanne, too. Did you like the paper piecing? Um, I love aqua painters, and most of my, my monkeys do not like aqua painters. It's one of my favorite things. I was going to show you these little, this is just watercolor pencils. If you want to create kind of an interesting background, you can, <laughs> thank you. You can use the watercolor pencils and just the aqua painter and create an interesting background that you can put something on. So here I did one color. Here I did three different colors. So it's um, it just kind of bleeds together and you just have fun with it. You just have to sit down with a little water and this heavy paper. If you make a mistake, it's so heavy that you could use the other side. So great stuff. So you guys, thank you so much for joining me. I love when I have so many people on. It gives me goosebumps. Uh, I was a little weepy today. Sorry about that. So thank you, Stamping Family. You all stay safe. Stay home. Stay safe. Um, we will hopefully be able to get together soon. If not, I will be here on Friday and we'll show you the paper pumpkin and you know, who, who knows? Maybe I'll come up with something else. Um, the one week I did a Thursday video too. So Thank you, thank you, thank you. Everybody stay safe. Um, visit Stampin, uh, my stamping journey. I will have some, um, I'll have some instructions on with what I used and um, the sizes for the card that we made today. So thank you all. Take care. Bye-bye.